Hello everyone, welcome to uh, October 2022's vlog. I think this is vlog three or four. And I apologize in advance for the not so great lighting and the potential that there's gonna be an echo on the audio here. And it's because I'm filming this in the as yet unfinished basement of uh, my apothecary here in downtown Salt Lake City. So there's not a lot of furniture in here other than this couch and a couple of workshop tables, so it's a little bit echoey. Uh, but I'm sure the audio will be good enough. So a few things to catch you up on. Uh, this is going to be a little more brief because I'm still recovering, so to speak, from the move and getting into this bigger space and all of the build out and construction and plumbing fiascos that we've been having, uh, but all is well. So one thing that I wanted to start with because folks have been asking a lot about books which I appreciate because uh, I'm a book nerd and I love to read and I'm always reading so I love hearing about what you guys are reading and I love talking about what I'm reading and I'm working on a way to do at least once a month some kind of little book review or book recommendations more likely uh, because reviewing feels weird to me so I generally just like to talk about what the book was about, what I got from it, and why I think it was a good read, uh, or not, I guess, sometimes. So, a couple of books that I'm reading right now that I'm super excited about by an author that, in my opinion, does not get nearly enough cred in the pagan world. Uh, this is going to go way left of center from our plant spirit discussions we're usually having and get more into uh, paganism as a whole, specifically uh, neo-paganism and reconstructionism. So that author is Ian Corrigan, and every one of Ian's books is a banger to me, and uh, I've been reading him for many, many, many years, and his writing has played a huge role in how I do my paganism. So um, can't recommend his stuff highly enough. So two books. I'm revisiting Sacred Fire Holy Well. Right now, one of my, probably my favorite book that he's written. And I come back to this book pretty much once a year, sometimes twice a year, go through it, uh, whip myself back into shape, learn some new things, remember some new things, and kind of compare and contrast what my practice is becoming to what is presented in the book because he gives these really beautiful core concepts rooted in Indo-European uh, spirituality for the modern practitioner, which I very much appreciate. His writing style is also incredibly approachable and very empowering. So Sacred Fire, Holy Well, highly recommended. We'll talk a little bit more about that angle of my path towards the end of this particular vlog, uh, if you're interested. Uh, the other book I'm reading is one that I've only skimmed through in the past, another from Ian, uh, which is uh, Pagan Magic, uh, Five Keys of Pagan Magic. And I really enjoy this book because he's combining our direct relationship, our direct uh, reciprocal relationships with our hearth cult, with the deities that we work with, the spirits we work with, our ancestors, the plant spirits, the spirits of place where we are, uh, all the way into sorcery and conjuration, all through a very beautifully grounded uh, and accurate Indo-European lens, which I appreciate. So uh, another beautiful read for folks who feel like witchcraft is the only expression of magic or that paganism is devotion without magic, this is a very important book because it will show you how uh, thurgy, in, in essence, how magic is a natural outcropping from our relationship with uh, the Shining Ones, with deities, with ancestors, with nature spirits, and that it is the way that we as practitioners help to channel transformative energy between the worlds. So, two books, highly recommended. If you have read these books, please tell me what you thought uh, or if you have purchased them 
on the Amazon or Lulu or whatever, uh, at the end of this video, please take a minute to go review those books. You know, give the stars hopefully five and write why you love these books. You know, these, these authors that are humble, they stay in their own lane, they're not appropriative, they're not following the trends, uh, they're not writing about what's hot, but they are consistent and grounded in academia and experienced and speaking from a place of real authority in their work they tend to get brushed over a lot because they're not catering to ease. They're not catering to uh, what's popular, what's hot. And so uh, if you've read either of these books or any books by Ian or any author like him, uh, go show some love, participate in sacred reciprocity, right? Go give the stars in the review. Loved it, right? That's all you gotta do. So um, speaking of books, my next book, The Green Art, which is an exploration of my practice of plant-based sorcery. It's only one expression of the spiritual path that I'm on, uh, but it gets in deep, will come out on October 25th of this year. So not too long, about a week. And it will be released worldwide. Uh, it is available as of the recording of this video, which I believe today is the 19th of October. Uh, it is available for pre-order through Aeon Publishing in the UK and most online booksellers, but it will be available worldwide here shortly. Uh, if you read my first book, um, Spiritual Herbalism, this book takes it to the next level. It gets into ritual, crafting practice, uh, the more sorcerous uh, and conjurative aspects of working with the plants, and it dovetails really beautifully with no spiritual practice, with all kinds of animistic, pagan, earth-centered, cosmos-centered spiritual practices. So even though I've kept a lot of that language out of that book so that many people can find it accessible, uh, it works well, it plugs in to pretty much any animist tradition, I think. Um, so I invite you to get a copy of it uh, I will have some available here in Salt Lake, which uh, I don't know how many I'm going to be getting, but hopefully enough. And if you are not local and you get a copy and you want uh, some drawings and stuff inside, you can mail it to me and I will draw it in and write in it for you and mail it back to you on my dime. So uh, that's an invitation for uh, folks on Patreon. And basically, if you're watching this video, you're in. Uh, what else? Um, as I mentioned, lots going on with the shop, Green Thread, Apothecary. We moved from kind of a uh, sort of out of the way neighborhood, an old neighborhood in the city, which I really love, into the heart of the city. We are in the middle of downtown Salt Lake now. Parking is interesting, uh, but I'm in a really big space facing a really busy road. With a, with a protected bike lane. And I think last month's vlog, I gave you guys a little tour. So if you missed that, uh, go back and check it out. We'll give you a little updated tour um, right now. So you can kind of see the difference. that's how the space is coming along uh, still several things to do some shelves that still need to be built and some plumbing uh, that still needs to be figured out and then of course I have a whole basement which will become our clinic and workshop that needs to be uh, completely redone and a functioning storage is down there already which I appreciate uh, in my old space in the avenues neighborhood I did not have storage at all so this is really quite a luxury uh, and I'm very much enjoying it. Um, other than that, putting a lot of energy right now uh, for folks who don't know, um, 
I am very much involved in uh, boxing. I'm very amateur. Uh, don't think I'm like, you know, in the ring fighting really difficult people. No, <laughs> uh, very amateur, but it's something I really, really enjoy doing. And uh, not only fantastic for my physical health, but just an incredible uh, gift for my mental health. So uh, really been focusing in on that a lot, getting into some sparring, getting into uh, a little heavier, more technical work, which has been really nice. And the only other news I have uh, will only make sense to some people, and that is uh, for folks who don't know, I am a, a old school member, maybe 11 or 12 years now of Andre Oxfine ADF, which is an international tradition of uh, very liberal reconstruction, modern neo-paganism, modern druidry, uh, rooted in both academia and experience of the Indo-European lands, uh, mostly Celtia, but uh, other traditions as well. And this is a, a tradition, a living tradition, that is incredibly near and dear to me. Uh, the people who are part of this group are brilliant and provide so much to the community and have offered a framework of modern paganism that reflexes and honors our ancient past while being fully relevant and approachable to the to the modern. So I really appreciate that. And the reason I bring that up is that I have just finally finished my dedicate path uh, working and have um, one little essay that I need to finish up before submitting all of that coursework, which takes most people a year and a half or two, but somehow took me 10 years to complete. I went had to go through it 10 times, I guess, to get it on paper. Uh, from here, we'll go into um, training paths for initiation and clergy uh, eventually, hopefully, is the plan. But I'm really excited and celebrating right now not only the new shop and the new book, uh, but this new opportunity on my spiritual path and my work with ADF. So uh, I think that's it. That's all the news that I have. Hopefully, wherever you are, this finds you enjoying the autumn tide, getting ready to celebrate Samhain uh, or November Eve or whatever you celebrate, however you honor the final harvest and the beauty that the trees are showing us of letting go and preparing for rest, watching the animals scurry around right now to stock up on as many calories as they possibly can to get them through the long winter ahead uh, is a reminder for us that we should also be preparing to slow down, you know, preparing to maybe hibernate some parts of our lives, but at very least, uh, you know, match the season and start to slow down and come into that winter, winter cadence. This is a beautiful time for more reading, uh, more time inside, more art, uh, learning a new language, um, learning some artistic skills, some craft skills, taking online courses, all of that. This is winter. is a fantastic time for that. So uh, I hope you are at peace and staying warm and praying with a good fire. And I will see you for another little vlog update next month.